Hi, have you been trying to learn JavaScript? Let's start with the basics. What is programming language? Obviously, you know JavaScript is a type of programming language. So if you don't understand what programming language is, it will be difficult for you to understand where JavaScript lies or where it falls. Programming language is simply a way to tell computer what to do. It's a way to communicate to computer in the language it understands. Computer understands quite a lot of languages and one of those languages happen to be JavaScript. There are other languages that are out there which we are not interested in. For now, we are interested in JavaScript. So just like you could speak and speak in English to you and you understand them, you could also speak JavaScript to computer and it will understand and execute what it is you've asked it to do. So think of JavaScript as a more as a kind of language that you can speak to computer for it to execute those instructions that you've given to it. So that's how your mindset should be wired when you are dealing with programming. So let's go ahead and define what JavaScript is all about. JavaScript is a versatile language that allows developers to add interactiveness and also dynamism to web pages. So it's primarily designed for web pages for you to manipulate the web page that you've designed. If you want to place things dynamically on the website, you want to make the website have some effects based on the user interaction, the user activities, what the user is doing at the moment. You know, you want to allow the form to validate when you're entering a form, you want to make it required or anything that requires you to program the interface, to program the client experience. You can use JavaScript to actually achieve that. We'll be doing quite a lot of examples. But this is more of like the intro into JavaScript as it is. So let's go ahead to see how we can set up our environment to start the JavaScript course proper. First thing you need to do is power up your Visual Studio code. I'm sure we are all familiar with this platform. And um, create a project. I just have this project called Lessons. And I have my index.html right there. It's a point for you to know that JavaScript also has its own extension, meaning you can have whatever name dot js, whatever name dot js. So let's just create that quickly just for you to see. So you can have whatever name you have there dot js. This is just an example. We will not be using this for now, just for us to have a quick setup and a sample of what we are doing. So we don't have anything here yet, it is blank. We can just put our normal starter page. Okay, now that you've done this, the next thing for you to do is to preview. Because remember, we want to see how we can start using JavaScript. And these steps is very important. It will aid you to do your debugging and your testing over time because you are supposed to be using JavaScript from now on. We'll finish with HTML, CSS. We are going to JavaScript. Um, everything you've learned so far is to help you to work with HTML and CSS. Now we need to show you something new. So this part you need to pay very close attention to. The next thing we want to do now is to show you inspect elements. What inspect element does is to show you what's happening under the hood while the whole thing is going on. While we have this page rendering, inspect elements will let you see what is going on in this page on in the background. And it's very important to the to you understanding JavaScript because we are going under the hood to see what's going on. Apart from the fact that we have the source code here, when your code is being rendered by the browser, it also executes some things because it's your browser that interprets all this line of code that you are writing here. Your browser does the execution. And when it does the execution, it reports some things in the um, code inspection section. So we're about to view that part now. So we come to the side um, here. You will see where it says open dev to panel. So open this section and for my own section is on the base here, which it's not, it's not going to show by default for you on the base, but I've placed it on the base. 
by default it should show on the right hand side for you and how do you make it show on this base section you can have this option here there's this button here you click and you see like these four options that you can pick from the last one allows it to show on the right hand side which is what you should have by default but for me it's you know not looking nice because it's making the screen so large you might not have this real estate to have this large screen so you want to put it somewhere at the bottom which is what i've done i'll just toggle all the options that you have there you have this one that says show on the left hand side and finally the ones that pop out from the window this other last option pops out from the window and what that does it allows it to float meaning you can be doing this and it will just be there for you to work with so any options that you're comfortable with you can pick that option for me i'm familiar with this one which is the best view for me have it underneath here which means i can always see my results see what is going on apart from the fact that i just showed you this section there's going to be a lot that we're going to go through here because as i've said javascript is uh, very important to your understanding of front-end web development because that's where the serious things start happening you are limited with what HTML and css can do javascript brings the edge you know for you allows you to control the interactiveness of the project that you are working with now that we have the console opened this is more like what you call the inspect element or the dev tool this section here allows you to do more you know to do to see what is going on on the ground here as we specified now we have various tabs on this section and we're going to go through all those tabs later you know down the the line but for now we're concerned about the console the console is what we're concerned about and the console allows you to allows you to view information that you sent from your code you can send the information from your code here once the browser executes it will show your console it's used by developers to check information without it being visible on the browser here so let's go ahead and put something to the console and what we want to put there is hello world and how you can write things into the console is by using javascript we use javascript to write stuff into the console all what we've written here is pure html now yeah, we can add some css to it so this is just to make our body font one thing so this one is just our normal styling so let's go ahead and execute our javascript so to write a javascript you will need to bring in a script tag so look at the correlation there when we wanted to write our css what did we do we brought in the style tag now when we want to write our javascript we are bringing in what the script tag so there are two ways to add, add javascript to your platform you can have it in a script form or you can have it as an a reference into your system you can import it into your html page and run it we're going to be using you know the script for now since this is the starting point when we move down you know in the course of the tutorial we're going to be changing gears and be using other methods but for now we're using the script method so to do our hello world, to print our hello world to the console, we're going to be using a function. By the way, we're going to define all these things down the line. This is just to get the information out there first to set up your platform. The purpose of today's lecture is to set up your dev environment and to understand your IDE, you know, in such a way that you are preparing to start doing JavaScript. That's the essence. So everything we're writing now, we're still going to explain to you guys. So we're doing console. Remember that we want to write to the console. And that's why we're typing console. Because we want to write to the console. We're calling a, an object called console. And the object is going to call a function. 
The two things I just mentioned now, we are still going to explain what they are. Object, function, they are all gibberish to you. That's fine. We are still going to explain what those two things are. So just know that an object is a console and the function is the log. Now notice as I keep typing, the system is giving me error here. Those things are also fine. As I said, this part is for the developer because now you are doing something serious, something that could make or break a lot of things because you are telling the computer serious things to do and you should be able to execute them the way you want them to be. And that's what programming is all about. By the way, all what we've been doing so far is really not programming. The HTML we've been doing writing is not programming. The CSS we're writing is not programming. This is programming. JavaScript is programming. So that should be a news flash to some people. And, and it's fine. It's just an intro to get you guys to get comfortable to see that you can make things happen. So this is the real programming, you know, but once you get the fundamentals right, you are good to go. Immediately we start typing, you can see all error are flying, you know, but not to worry. That's the work of the console to show you when things are going wrong. And then you are supposed to then react and fix it. That's the purpose. Now that we have our console out here, you can every time come here and clear your console to have a very clean look like this because it's possible that you fix the error but because the console has logged something down it can't clear it you have to clear it so you can see that having a clear view makes it looks pretty like this then we can come here and say we want to log hello world to the console that's the point of what we want to do now so i write hello world any keystroke i type the console is logging everything. So ignore the fact that we are looking at it weird like this. What you are concerned about is the last thing that we did, which is the last hello world that is here. If I clear this now and do control S, you know, it just prints the last thing that was there, which is hello world. But any keystroke that you press, the console is going to be executed, which is fine. You know, just to show that the thing is working. If there's an error now, it will tell us that it's an error and you can trace your step back. This is a sample code of how to write hello world to your console. We just wrote our first JavaScript. You just what wrote your first JavaScript. And that is what this class is all about. Go and set your new environment up for JavaScript class preparation. Thank you for staying to the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on bell notification in order to be notified when we release new videos. See you in the next one.